Well, good Saturday afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, I'm um, just kind of chilling today, just kind of taking it easy. The calm before the draft storm that's coming this week and um, kind of chilling with the, the, the misses. We've been working down the country and stuff and things and just trying to catch my breath. Tomorrow I'll be back in the uh, workshop working hard on a lot of the plaques and things that we have to do for you guys. And so I'm kind of taking it easy today. But something, it, I'm, I'm kind of like a pit bull sometimes when I get something in my head. And this morning when I first woke up, I saw this tweet. Uh, excuse me, Instagram post by nothing but the best, Law Nation. And it's one of those things that it, it's truly mystifies me how much bull crap we are fed about the Dallas Cowboys. When, when the Cowboys players do something good, for some reason, it's never given credit. There's a reason why it doesn't mean anything. And this was the post. Let me pop it up here. This was what Law Nation had posted. Over the last five years, only one DB has given up more than 1,000 passing yards in coverage in one same season, um, and that would be Trayvon Diggs. So depending on the site, some places have different numbers. You know, Law posted, you know, said on this, Diggs' uh, yards allowed was actually 856, and actually Marshawn Lattimore in 2021 season allowed 870 yards, and not a word or whisper was said about Marshawn Lynch being overrated. So the thing that's funny is, as we talk about, you know, because he did give up, I'll say it, he gave up five touchdowns, as well as, uh, depending on what you look at, like 906 yards or 924 yards or 856, depending on what site, uh, different ones have different matrices. I usually use pro football reference. So the thing about this is, is, I, I get it. You don't want a, a cornerback that's giving up a lot of yards. You know, five, you know, and five TDs is a lot. However, you have to look at this and say, he is the only guy this century to have 11 interceptions. And see, to talk about the yards versus the takeaways, or just to basically say, oh, yeah, well, takeaways don't mean anything, is – Kind of crazy, because I, I want to read something here, and forgive me, I'm not the best of, of readers in here, but this was a study done, not by me, not by me, I, I've, I've been working on this stuff off and on all day, but trying to pile, compile all of this information, this data and stuff together. In a study conducted by Harvard Sports Analysis Collective, it found out that the team that wins the turnover margin in a game, win 69.6% of the time. Okay, so if you get more takeaways than you give away 69% of the time, you win. And you're probably saying, well, it's only 69% of the time. But think about this. It goes on to say, to, de to demonstrate the relative strength of turnover influence, home teams only won 57.2% of the time. So think about that. If you're home team, you got a 57% chance of winning because you're the home team. I always say you want home field advantage. But yet, 12 percentage points more if you win the battle of takeaways. In addition, the study found that the effect um, to be rather significant on a seasonal basis. Each additional positive turnover towards a team's margin is worth about 0.2 wins with an R value um, of 0.41. For less statistically inclined, that means while ignoring all other factors that are important in winning and losing, point margin, uh, opponents faced, uh, etc., Turnover margin explained 41.9% of the valuation in regular season wins. In other words, there's no other matrix that is more important than the turnover ratio. So giving up yardage, even giving up points, isn't as important as it is winning the turnover battle. So hypothetically, if you're saying, 
or Harvard is saying, not Mark Holmes, Harvard is saying turnovers are key. More than any other factor, taking the football away is more important than anything else. Can we agree with that? Because very rarely do teams, I mean, it happens, but very rarely does a team that loses the turnover battle win. It's difficult when you turn over the football. So you want to make as many takeaways as possible. Okay. Now, let's go back here because here's another great set of statistics. Um, nope, wrong one. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, don't tell me I lost it. Takeaways can win the game. Uh, where are it? Hold up. Hold up. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. All right. I want us to look at Diggs' snaps here. So covered snaps, this takes all of the players in the NFL, all of them. So if you take all of the players in the NFL, covered snap-wise, Diggs had 606 times he had to be in coverage, which is the fourth most in the entire NFL. That means there's only three other players that actually had more snaps in coverage than him. Targeted, as in people throwing the ball his way, third most. Third most. So that means he got only two other players had more times where he was targeted. So if you had the third most amount of passes your way, you would think that you'd be in the top five. But actually, in receptions allowed, he was only 10th, which when you're getting thrown at more times and you're there, that means you're actually doing a little bit better with that. Yards allowed, now then again, this site has 962. Whoever the site was that um, Law Nation had, had him over 1,000. Law has 856. So who knows what the real number is? We'll say on this one, 962, which is the most. Well, if you've got the third most passes against you, you kind of understand that you're probably going to have more than other ones. Touchdowns allowed. Now, he wasn't the worst. He did give up five, and I'm not going to say that that's good. It's still bad. But we're talking about a guy who is, you know, only in his second year. Interceptions by far, 11, the most interceptions. So they gave him a grade of 67, 45th out of 134. Okay, whatever. All right. Here's where it gets interesting here. Because let me close this one and go back to this one. Let's actually take a look at the statistics here. Because I have a new matrix here. I don't know what we're going to call it or not yet. But here's what we have. And you look at the improvement from his first year to second year. Again, this is pro football focus. Um, in 2020, his completion percentage against him was 54%, 54.8. Um, he gave up 667 yards and um, target-wise, 7.9 yards per pass. Uh, he gave up uh, five TDs. Am I on the right one? I thought he gave up five this year, so it was four. Hold up. Let me make sure I get this right. So four TDs, right? Okay. Now here's where we also want to get back in here too. Um, in his 16 games, 11 interceptions, um, where's the targets? Hold on. There's so many different things that are on here. I apologize. But targeted-wise, I believe he was targeted. I don't see it on here. Saw it earlier. Targeted 103 times. 103 times they went at him. Okay? Now, interesting thing in here. Pass defended, as in, you know, keeping the guy from catching the ball. 21. Interceptions, 11. Okay? So if you take the 11 and the 21, that equals 32, right? So 32 times out of 103 times, you either had an interception or a pass, pass breakup, okay? If you actually work that out to a percentage, 103 divided into 32, that comes out to 31%. Now, 
completion percentage against him, or excuse me, quarterback ranking against him, 55%. So when a quarterback threw his way, their ranking was 55%. Their completion percentage was 52.4. All right, you follow me on that? Is that too much information? Is the numbers kind of making you go like womp, 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 womp. Let's look at Jalen Ramsey. Here's something that's interesting. Jalen Ramsey actually gave up more completions. He gave up 58. He also gave up a higher completion percentage, 59%. He also, for the quarterbacks, the quarterbacks, they had a rating of 71%, 55, 71. The difference in here is um, the distance. They were basically going down the field further against Diggs versus Jalen Ramsey. And don't, uh, don't, don't get it twisted because I know what's going to happen. Some people are going to say, you're trying to say Diggs is better than Ramsey. No, I'm not trying to say he's better than Ramsey. They play two different styles and they're asked to do two different things. But I'm trying to put this into context of um, the players themselves and the difference on the field because you, we're told that literally, oh, my God, he gave up so many yards. But see, if you understand the takeaways, because the difference here is Diggs, depending on which sites you go, roughly gave up about 270 more yards in coverage. 270 more yards, right? So per game, we're saying... 15 yards more a game, right? 15 yards more a game. Are we going to say that the 15 more yards a game that Diggs gave up is less valuable? I mean, negates 11 takeaways? Because that's ultimately what we're talking about. And that matrix I told you about passes defended, um, and interceptions, Ramsey only had 20 versus 21, had more passes thrown against him, more completions against him, and had four interceptions. So if we do that same matrix, Ramsey is at 24%. 24% of the time, he ended up having an interception or a pass defended. Diggs was 31%. And he is a babe in the woods compared to Ramsey's experience. So this whole thing that you're being told that basically, and again, I, you know, Ramsey's great. Ramsey is one of the best in the business. I am not trying to knock him, but I'm trying to show you guys that you're being fed a line of bullshit from the talking heads. Yes. He's given up a lot of yards there. Yeah. But when you're the third most targeted guy, you're going to give up more yards than everybody else. But what you have to look at is, take a look. The completion percentage. They're not making a lot of completions on him. They're not. Look at the rating. This is Jalen Ramsey. Completion percentage, he gave up 59.2. Still great. It's great. That's great. The rating, he's given up 71.1. Diggs, 52 completion percentage made on him, 7% less. The ratings for the quarterbacks, 55.8. I don't know how else you can equate this and say, oh, well, it's great. No, it's not. Uh, I mean, it, anyway, you feel me, right? You're being fed a line of bullshit. And with that being said, I'm going to let you get back to your regular scheduled program of enjoying Saturday. And me, well, I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to eat some more chicken wings because I made some like uh, 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 damn, not 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 fried ones, not fried ones. They are the uh, air fryer uh, jerk wings, perfectly keto. And with that being said, you know how we roll. It's time for me to get up out of here. Peace.
is my daddy.